because we have the intros coming with all the pyrotechnics for the women's 800 metres. South Africa's golden girl hoping for yet more glory. They're ready and they're poised for two laps of the track here at the London Stadium. The final of the women's 800 metres. Lindsay Sharp running through. Hitochka running through. There's Casta Semenya. RJ Wilson. Bishop, Neon Saba, Lipsy and Wambui. So the athletes are out. Casta Semenya will start in lane number four. A bronze medal over the 1500 metres. But this is her favoured event. Two times a world champion now in 2009 and in 2011. And also now a two-time Olympic champion, 2012 and 2016. She's going for three gold medals at world championships. She's trying to match Maria Mutola's record of three golds. Mutola, of course, has five in total. But Semenya, 155-27 this season. Really is the overwhelming favorite in this women's 800 meters. Last defeated in Berlin in September 2015. But how will she run this final? Because as Steve Obet mentioned, there's athletes in this race that might grab it by the scruff of the neck and take it out. That's Francine Neon Saba of Burundi, 24 years old now, also sub 156 this season. Well, there's the front runners in this race, the Wilson and the Bishops, and also the fast finishers in this race, like this woman here, Nian Saba, Wambui and Semenya. So there is the contrast between the two. It's whether the likes of someone like Wilson has the courage to go out and try and take it to the others, and whether Bishop, also a front runner, decides to go. There's the two there, Bishop, Wilson. If the gun goes and they go off hard, we're in for a good race. If they don't, it could be slow and playing into the hands of the fast finishers, Semenya, Neon Saba, Wambui. So the women's 800 meter final. Semenya will start in four. Wilson and Bishop will start in five and six. When she won in the Monaco Diamond League, it was her 26th successive win at 800 meters. Tried several sports before athletics, football and baseball, even a bit of karate and boxing. But the two laps of the 800 metres is where she's won two world golds and two Olympic titles. Medalists from world championships, Olympics, world indoor championships, all coming together once again to potentially try and win a world title. In lane number nine then, a bronze medalist in Rio, a bronze medalist at the World Indoor Championships from Kenya, Margaret Wambui. 157.03 this year, under 157 at her best. Elaine number eight from the US, Charlene Lipsy, second at the US Championships. She trains with RJ Wilson. Let's see what they can do. Elaine number seven, Francine Neon Saba of Burundi, Olympic silver. The World Indoor Champion last year. Lane number six from Canada, Melissa Bishop. Won World Silver two years ago, fourth in Rio. In lane number five, RJ Wilson of the USA, the US Indoor Champion, the US Outdoor Champion. In lane number four, the best in the world now and has been for the last few major championships. Double gold at Olympics and Worlds. Lane number three from Poland, Angelika Hitochka. She's the European champion, over 1,500 metres. And then a big roar from the crowd here in London. Great Britain, Northern Ireland's Lindsay Sharp. Six at the Rio Olympics last year, initially disqualified for obstruction for this final, but reinstated on appeal. So, the women's 800 metre final can 
Kasta Semenya win three golds over the 800 metres. So let's see how this one plays out. Wilson normally likes to go out hard, the American in lane number five, and she's setting out her stall in this final. The new US record holder goes down the back straight. Wambui on the outside looking to swing in. Neon Saba looking to swing in. But it will be the American that holds the inside line at the first 200 metres. But Neon Saba is right on Wilson's shoulder. Wambui also in the mix. Sharp of Great Britain, Northern Ireland on the inside line. And Casta Semenya right in the middle of the pack. Well, it's 27 at the 200 metres. That's fast as they go through at this sort of pace. And it's interesting to see that they're just keeping the rhythm going, although it's dropped. So coming round to the bell in the women's 800 metre final. Neon Saba, Wilson, Wambui, Sharp, Semenya. 57.98 seconds. An injection of speed from Thransi Neon Saba of Burundi. The Olympic silver medalist. Wilson's on her shoulder though. Down the back straight. Neon Saba trying to stretch out a lead, but Wilson's not letting her go. Wambui in third. Semenya in fourth at the moment, ahead of Britain's Lindsay Sharp. Melissa Bishop trying to make a move, as is Lipsy on the outside. But look at RJ Wilson. Neon Saba grits her teeth and keeps going on the inside line. Neon Saba. Wilson. Semenya. It's going to be an absolute tear-up. They know the three medalists, but in what order are they going to be? On the outside comes Casta Semenya. She was poised and she waited. Neon Saba's still fighting to hold on to the silver, she will. And RJ Wilson will pick up a bronze for the USA. Wow, 155.17. It's a lifetime best for the South African. And she does equal Maria Mutola's three gold medals at the World Championships. It was never in doubt. She was poised, she waited. Neon Saba tried to stretch out that 800 metre final. Wilson tried to stretch out and keep in the mix as well. But it's the fastest time in the world. It's a lifetime best. And Casta Semenya, well, two Olympic golds, now three World Championship golds over 800 metres. Well, they tried their best, they really did. Neon Saba pushing hard all the way around that back straight. Wilson hanging on to her as much as she could. But the sheer power of this woman down the last 50 metres or so, she just literally cruised past. There wasn't even any effort at all. She moved out into lane two and just literally powered past those two women. The eighth fastest time in history for Casta Semenya. And all eight finalists, Lindsay Sharp in eighth for Great Britain, but all eight finalists inside 159. Two different races, gold, silver and bronze initially were miles clear, but also what a fabulous bronze medal for RJ Wilson, national record holder. Another brilliant, brilliant run by her. She really tried to take it to the now three-time world champion over 800 metres, who, by the way, ties the great Maria Mutola. Mutola's golds, 93, 2001, 2003. So, well, her list of accolades goes on, but a brilliant bronze for Wilson. Well, it was. The USA have got a silver and a couple of bronzes before at the World Championships. Well, she gives us a smile. It's a bronze medal for the American. And she likes to take it out hard. She tried everything she could, RJ Wilson. Let's look at the replay. Into the home straight. The three medalists were assured. It was just a case of when Casta Semenya was going to pounce. 27.8 for Casta Semenya over the last 200 metres. I mean, that is... Super speed, super speed. She took, what was it now? Look, six metres out of the rest of them in the last 100 metres. There you go, gold again for Semenya in a world-leading time. Burundi and the USA pick up silver and bronze.